All right, YouTube, super bad videos coming back at you with another super bad video. Got out of the house again today. Um, we went, um, me and the wife and the kids went out looking for uh, a place to rent. Um, so yeah, I got out. Um, we stopped at the store. I got some material here. Sorry. Uh, bought some material here uh, to make um, some washable masks um, for the family. Uh, let's see here. What else did I get? Uh, I got some uh, fabric fusion. It's fabric glue, quick dry fabric glue. This one's supposed to to be machine washable um, so uh, once it dries it's supposed to be machine washable so and it's non ironing I yeah ironing ironing uh, meaning that I don't have to set it with uh, an iron because I don't have an iron uh, at least that's what it says it says fast drying dries clear and flexible Permanent bond to fabrics, machine washable. Uh, so yeah, we'll see about that. And then just to make it easier, I went ahead and bought some uh, Velcro little, uh, these little Velcro dots. Uh, so I could glue them to, they have glue, but um, I'm gonna add some fabric glue to them as well. Uh, so, Instead of tying it, um, I could put like three or four across the 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 straps in the back. So, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> so that way, you know, it's adjustable, and plus uh, you have a couple uh, pieces of Velcro holding on. Um, Again, I went to the camping section and I bought some toilet paper in the camping section. It was uh, called Toilet Paper on the Go. Uh, but I don't know where I left it. Honestly, I don't know where I left it. But yeah, anyways, um, I did find one car, which is cool because it's the first... The fuck? Uh, shit, I totally lost what I was going to say. It's the um, the first one I found of... Uh, this line of casting and I'm just going to show you so you understand what I'm saying but it is the Johnny Lightning Barn Finds um, I believe this is the same exact one that Rat Black showed um, it is the Cuda Ooh, if I don't fucking smack my camera with it 70 Plymouth Cuda it is the purple but as you can see, it's all dusty and crusty, which is pretty cool. Um, I believe this is the first barn find I found. I believe it is. The Volkswagen, I believe, was a project in progress. Uh, let me see. I got, I got it hanging up right here. Oh shit. I thought I had it hanging up here, but I don't. I have that other one. Oop. But I don't think it was a barn find. I believe it was uh, the one that's uh, project underway or project car or something like that. I don't think it was. <sighs> I don't think it was a barn find, um, but I could be wrong, of course. Um, but anyways, that was the casting I found. And as I was talking about earlier, I did go to the um, camping section. There we go. Jesus, keep losing my train of thought. I'm sorry, guys. Um, We've been looking at houses and apartments and fucking shacks and 
trailer houses and cardboard boxes on the side of the road. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> um, but yeah. Uh, that's why I'm kind of scatterbrained tonight. But yeah, as I said, as I was saying, I went to the ca uh, camping section. I did pick up some more of these freeze-dried meals. That spicy Southwest skillet. It has potatoes, uh, potatoes, shredded beef, black beans, green chilies, and vegetables. And vegetables, I don't know what they mean by and vegetables, but that um one of my favorite comfort foods of all times is uh, this stuff right here um not out of a bag of course but homemade um my mom makes some bomb ass fucking chicken and dumplings bomb ass chicken and dumplings so uh, when i seen these i went ahead and grabbed them uh, just because I know they are comfort food for me. Um, and in a situation, um, I think this would help me uh, uh, through uh, a situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is my, that's, you know, chicken and dumplings, a comfort food for me. So, you know, it'll give me a peace of mind. At least while I'm enjoying the meal. Um, and that's a little bit of advice I got for you guys. Um, if you're going to do these freeze-dried meals like this. Um, I would go with comfort food. Um, if it's just you by yourself. Whatever comfort food you have. Or you like. That's what I'd go for. If it's uh, like a family setting. Um talk to your wife and kids and find out what what type of food uh makes them happy when when they're sad um they got freeze-dried ice cream so if it's ice cream freeze-dried ice cream it may not be exactly the same but it still may bring that comfort to them uh let me go ahead and I'll just do this and that right there and then um, another one of my favorite foods, we got biscuits and gravy. Uh, this one has uh, buttermilk biscuits with gravy and pork sausage. Um, I love some biscuits and gravy. Um, I love them with pork sausage. I love it with fucking bacon. Uh, bacon gravy. Um, I did pick up these guys right here. Uh, I picked up two of them. Uh, these things are fucking heavy. Uh, these probably, this little block right here, probably weighs as much as uh, one fucking, or maybe about one and a half uh like fireplace bricks this shit is dense and heavy as fuck but i picked up two of them they are emergency food ration bars uh uh 2400 calories 10,000 kilojoules i don't know what the fuck i know kj stands for kilojoules uh other than that, I don't know where the fuck it comes from. So, don't bust my balls on that. Um, but it is apple cinnamon flavor. Vacuum pack. Long. And these are the ones I was talking about um, uh, last time. That some dumbass took a fucking um, uh, hole punch. And punched holes through the outer plastic, which broke the vacuum seal, and hung them up on a peg. Uh, that's the shit I was talking about last time. These bars right here. Uh, uh, but 
yeah, there we go. Vacuum sealed. Uh, stock up. Or hurricane, blizzards, tornadoes, and earthquakes. Add to your shelter in place supplies. Five year shelf life. Uh, this says one pound, two ounces. This fucking feels more than one pound. Feels like one, more than one pound. At least a pound and a half to pushing two pounds. Uh, but it says uh, one pound, two ounces. Or 18 ounces. Or 510 grams. Uh, yeah. there go. There's this. And I believe there's three, six bars in here. I don't think each bar is that thick. I think each bar is half. Um, let's see if it shows. Let me see here. Data manufacturer, February 20th. Lot number, expiration date, February 25th. Uh, let me see here. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Let me mean uh, Okay, contains each 18 ounce pack. Each 18 ounce pack contains six, I was correct, six uh, 400 calorie food bars, providing a total of 2,400 calories, 10,000 kilojoules. Right there. And I just guessed. I didn't see that. I totally did not see that. Uh, oh, shit. Don't fall. Sorry, guys. Like I said, this is sitting on my paint booth, which kind of overhangs the table. And as you could tell, my paint booth is made out of cardboard. So if I lean on it, it bends. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, but... It is uh, six bars, uh, 2,400 calories. Um, uh, you can eat the bar as it is. Um, if it, it is available, um, you can boil some water, break up the bar in the water, um, kind of make like a porridge. You could add it to other... Uh, Maybe lower calorie um, meals, uh, just to boost the the uh, calorie rating on your meal that you're eating. Like I said, these are uh, 400 calories each, so you could uh, add it and boost up the calorie content of uh, a low calorie meal that you're having. Uh, for dinner, breakfast, whatever. So those are my finds for today. As I said, uh, the camping section is being overlooked. Um, <clears throat> you know, and I'm not one of those guys that will just keep it secret. I, I would like to help uh, people help themselves. Um, I get what I get. And... You ain't getting what I get. That's what I'm saying. You come to my house starving. You're leaving starving. And that's just the way it is. So yeah. Um, that's why I shared some shared information with you guys. Uh, I could have been a dick and just been like, you know. Uh, got lucky and found these in the, the uh, camping section. Um, I bought these. Uh, I bought some... Um, fire starters they're uh strikeable fire starters uh, of course waterproof uh matches wind resistant matches well it's technically nothing is waterproof or wind resistant reason or windproof or waterproof that's what i should say uh they are water resistant even though it says proof uh just know that there's always that chance that uh, if they get wet, they may not work. Uh, so, uh, even though they say waterproof, uh, just go with resistant. 
because um, it will help you out in the long run because uh, you'll be more careless if you think they are waterproof, windproof, than if you think they are water resistant, wind resistant. Uh, just my opinion. Um, just a suggestion. Uh, and if you uh, think uh, I am wrong, that's fine. Uh, but that is my thought. Um, and I thought I'd share it with you guys. Um, so I am hungry. I've been out all day. Um, all I've had was breakfast with some chicken nuggets for breakfast. And that was only like six pieces of chicken. And I'm a fat boy. Uh, six small pieces of chicken does nothing for me. I'm a fat ass. So um, I'm going to go ahead and cut this part off. Get some water ready. Get my tray set up while I'm blabbing at you guys about what I'm going to be doing. Um, I'll just go ahead and get my tray set up. God damn, those things are heavy. Like I said, it says it's only a pound and two ounces. But they feel more like a pound and a half each. Um, <clears throat> so, we're going to go ahead and We'll get our tray here ready and uh, if it was a live stream I would ask you which one you want me to try yeah, but since it's not a live stream um, I will try the spicy southwest style skillet uh, get that set on the tray I got some other stuff I'm gonna add to it um, <coughs> Um, I don't know what I'm going to drink with it, um, but I do have some crackers and, and some jelly or some jam and, and some, uh, some, uh, peanut butter, but I don't know if I'm going to use those. Well, at least the jam and the, and the peanut butter. I know I'm going to use the crackers, so, um, you'll see in the next part, part. All right, guys, catch you in the next part. All right, YouTube, I'm back with part two. Uh, got my boiling water fresh off the stove. Um, I think that spoon's going to be too short. So I'll bust out an MRE spoon, which is a little bit longer. But I will be doing uh, my taste test with a uh, color matching spoon. That guy's, I think, a little bit too short. This guy's a little bit longer. It's going to give me a better chance of reaching down in there and, and getting the bottom. And I do have my HRD or HDR uh, crackers out on my tray sitting over here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and rip this guy open, and hopefully, there we go. Honestly, opening it up, it has a beef jerky uh, smell to it. Like an original um, beef jerky uh, flavor to it. And this guy right here, you want to get rid of. Uh, in the instructions, it says, um, if you forget this, when you fill it up with water, don't worry, pull it out and enjoy. Um, but the best thing to do is dig around, even if you have to whip out your spoon dig around and make sure you get this guy out um, this takes a cup and a half i'm gonna go ahead and do it over here so um, i can uh, see what i'm doing okay 
I was gonna say he looks like pasta in here, but that's shredded potato. Mm -hmm. Not much flavor in that. Got a black bean. And I love eating uh, beans like this that are freeze dried. Um, I don't know what that guy is. <laughs> I'm not going to give it a taste test just because I don't know what it is. I think it is the shredded beef. I'll give it a shot. Fuck it. Okay, here we go, down the hatch. Definitely shredded beef. Nice flavor to that. I just wanted to try a couple of things before I added the water. Let's see if I can do this without spilling it on myself or everywhere else. And that bad boy is hot. Sorry, guys. I'm doing this all off screen. I know. It's just easier uh, for me to see. Okay. A little bit more water. And I would add the water in slowly. Because you can always add more. You can't take it away. Alright. I see some corn niblets in there. Let's see. It looks like some red peppers. Getting all this stuff stirred up. Down in the bottom. Alright. So there is that. We are going to zip lock this back closed. Come on. Okay. Sweet. Fix that mess right there. All right. So we're going to just let it do its thing with that amount of water. It says let it set for five minutes. I'll check it in five minutes. If I think I need to add more water, I'll go ahead and add more water. Uh, basically, this is um, done in 10 minutes. And that does have some spice to it. Um, I could feel the little bit of uh, burning on my tongue just from the parts I tried dry. Um, so, we'll go ahead and uh, put this back up on the stove add some more water so it does not run out i'll give this five minutes and i'll be back uh stir it up give you guys another look if i think it needs more water i'll go ahead and dump some more water in there and give it another five minutes to uh, uh marinate or reconstitute if you would like to call it that so i'll catch you in the next part all right, we're back with part three of this thing. I want to give it a little looky-loo and see how she's doing. Uh, see if I need to add more water or not. So, let's see what we got going on here. Mm. Let me give it a little stirry stir. See what I think, what I stink about this. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Definitely needs a little bit more uh, water. Uh, 
Uh, it's still a little bit crunchy. So go ahead and add a little bit more water into this mix. Give her another little stir. Ooh. That definitely has a little kick to it. And that is my... Um, shit, what are they called? Cockatoo. Yeah, cockatoo. He's going nuts because he's covered and there's a light on, so... We'll go ahead and let that set some more, and I'm going to cut this light off so this little dumbass will shut the fuck up. All right. All right. So, let me scoop my ass up here and get this out the way. <coughs> All right. So, we're going to go ahead and get our uh, meal out. And I already have my uh, drink of choice in my cup. Just because YouTube would probably have a problem with my drink of choice. So, we are not going to talk about that. I don't know. I think I'm going to use this for uh, this right here. That's if I don't knock over my drink. And then I got a little something else. You kind of see a mess. Uh, the pot is a mess, um, so I'm probably not going to use this. So what we got here is uh, some Hormel um, canned tamales. And let me turn this down a little bit. Um, love these things. Um, my mom kind of ran a... Um, babysitting service you could find at least um anywhere between four and uh well as i was saying um anytime uh throughout the day every day there would be at least at least a dozen kids at my house when i was growing up uh as i said my mom kind of ran like a babysitting service um, and, uh, and she had a rotating, uh, lunch menu, you know, breakfast, lunch, and dinner menu. And, uh, these were, uh, part of my favorite of the dinner menu. So, oh, shit, my fork. We got these. I know they look disgusting, but these are bomb as fuck. Uh, they fork would stop falling down in there uh they are wrapped in um there we go they are wrapped in um, um blah, blah. Uh, like a wax paper um let's see here you can see they're kind of wrapped in a wax style paper uh, let me grab my pot so I can bring it up here so I'm not dripping a big old mess across everything. Uh, but as you can see, they are in a wax style paper. Mm -mm -mm. It's like mama used to make. All right, then we'll go ahead and get our bowl out. We'll go ahead and give this a little stir. Oh yeah, it soaked up all that other extra water I put in there. All of it. Let me scoop this over. Oh, okay. That, there's that. And let's kind of scoop some of this out. I don't want to scrape it across the... Um, the Ziploc part, because I would like to seal this back up. There you go. That's a Southwest style skillet. Yeah. 
do. And I'm just using this spoon to scoop it out just because it is a lot longer than uh, the spoon that came with this little uh, set right here. Which I actually bought this set at Walmart. It came with um, five complete tray sets. Uh, it came with the tray, the little plate, the little bowl, the cup, and the fork and spoon. And it came with like five sets for like five bucks, which you can't beat. Uh, throw one of these sets in your uh, your bag and you're golden there we go hopefully it recorded the other half of me just blabbering on uh, we got some Hormel uh, canned tamales uh, bomb we got the um, The Southwest style um, skillet. Get my HDR crackers opened up and get them out. Hopefully, it recorded the other part because it's going to really suck if it didn't. That was eight minutes of me wasting my voice for nothing. And then we got. HDR crackers, of course. Um, oh, shit. Sweet. Can't have a super bad video without shit going on. And so let's zoom in. Um, go ahead. And as I said, these are covered with a wax type paper. As you can see. napkin here put it under there so I can transfer it over here uh, to my little pan and give this guy a little I already know these are bomb I already know mm -mm -mm. awesome And I know that's what you want to hear in a video. Someone sitting here chewing. Um, but these are bomb. These are good. I already knew these were going to be awesome. Um, these are actually my leftovers from last night. <laughs> these are what I had for dinner last night. Got to get a little drink. And if it didn't record in the first, the other part, if you're wondering what I'm drinking, I can't tell you. Uh, YouTube won't like what I, what it is, so I uh, can't tell you. Of course, get one up here on these crackers. Awesome. Now for the main event. I'm going to set this stuff over here to the side. I'm not going to eat it all on screen. I'm just going to... I already know these are bomb. Um, if you haven't tried them, give them a shot. But yeah. And then we'll give this a little taste right here. There we go. We got some. Like, uh, was it shredded beef? There's some corn in there. There's the beans and red pepper and all that good stuff in there. Okay, so I know first thought, obviously, what happened to the training? The training barely had a scratch. 
strike me back. First was only four years old. I'm testing you young guy. Did I ever investigate a big piece of beef right there? There you go. You got a better shot of the corn. Um, the beef has really reconstituted awesomely. Yeah, that's the word. Awesomely. Um, I should say perfect it has reconstituted perfectly um, the beans and the the, um, the potatoes could have used a little bit more water a little bit more time I don't mind the the, the um, potatoes uh, being a little bit crunchy the beans are They're a little bit crunchy, but not like undercooked uh, beans that wasn't freeze dried. If that makes sense. It still has that uh, freeze dried crunch to it. Slightly. Um, which is way different than an undercooked um, uh, bean. If that makes sense. And then, of course, we're going to get some of this. Plop it up here on top of uh, a cracker. Of course, got to try it with the cracker. Hopefully, you guys didn't get too much of that chewing. Because I know how awesome it is to hear somebody chew on a video. Honestly, that can go without the cracker. Just because the potatoes aren't completely um, reconstituted. So those potatoes give that little crunch that uh, people complain about and MREs and stuff like that freeze dried food um, it's lacking a little bit of crunch um, those potatoes being just a little bit crunchy gives you that that crunch uh, I mean it's not a cracker crunch but it gives you that little bit of crunch that most people are looking for um, but yeah overall this uh, Southwest style skillet, bomb as fuck. So yeah, I'm going to get off of this because I'm pretty sure nobody wants to hear me fucking uh, eating. I'm pretty sure nobody wants to hear the strange ass noises I make while I eat. Uh, everybody makes noises when they eat. I don't give a fuck what you say. You're full of fucking shit. You make some type of noise when you eat. And I am a person who personally finds that very, very irritating. So I'm not going to force you guys to listen to me uh, chew. Um, even though I try to do it as quietly as possible. Uh, but when you throw those crackers in, it does get a little bit loud. Um, so, yeah. With that, super bad videos. Uh, we got some Hormel over here. We got some Hormel uh, canned um, tamales. Bomb as fuck. Uh, like I said, my mom used to run a babysitting service where there could be anywhere between four and 12 kids um, on any given day. That's what I was trying to say earlier, any given day. Um, and she had the rotating uh, uh, menus, as I said. And this was, those were uh, what I looked forward to the most. And then that Southwest, dude, that's fucking bomb as fuck. Um, 
to me it could use just a little bit of salt uh, which is very rare for uh, mountain house uh, freeze dried meals usually their flavor profiles uh, seasoning are fucking awesome uh, no seasoning needed uh, but to me, this does need a little bit of salt. Just a touch of salt. <clears throat> or if you're type of person, uh, some hot sauce. Tapatio, Tabasco. Um, whatever your hot sauce of choice is. Um, definitely uh, would really enhance that. Uh, as I said, really doesn't need any more... Uh, enhancement uh, but to my palate it does need a little bit more salt which as I said is very rare for uh, mountain house meals um, and of course can't tell you what I'm drinking but it is good all right so on super bad videos it's been another super bad video uh, and I'll catch you on the next one peace I'm out.